New details tonight involving what appears to have been a random shooting at a North Tulsa convenience store. There were several victims, and today Tulsa police released surveillance. In a Fox 23 exclusive, Sarah Whaley is reporting live after spending her day going through those photos with Detective Sarah. And the detectives say that this was a crossfire, about 20 to 25 shots fired in all. And while police say there is no one in jail tonight, they say they have identified one of the shooters. They say they're actually going to be talking with prosecutors soon about possible charges. He got a gun in his hand right there. Oh, it's in, he took it out of his back pocket. Yeah. This picture was captured mere seconds before a shootout in a busy quick trip parking lot Saturday night. This car here has a bunch of kids in it. Kids that were caught in crossfire when police say the people in this car started shooting at this man. It's concerning. Sergeant Dave Walker says the quick trip near I-244 in Sheridan was quite busy at the time. The first shots fired, while intended for this guy, actually victimized a 16-year-old girl when one of the bullets hit her in the arm. Nobody ended up dead, but easily could have been. Tuesday. Hey, this is Sarah Whaley with Fox 23. I spoke with several people who either had their cars hit with bullets or who witnessed the shooting. All of them too scared to interview. No, I get it. It was had to be a terrifying experience. Tells the police say after the first rounds were fired at this guy, he ran around the store and started firing at a car who he mistakenly thought the shooters were in. So he fires at them how many times? Hits it like three times. Here's that innocent car next to the real suspect car. Just looks alike. It's not even the same type. Walker says it was careless shooting. This has to stop. And I did talk with Quick Trip. They told me that it is just absolutely crazy that these shooters would put everybody in that store in harm's way. But police say stuff like this is happening more often. At 10, I'm working on a story comparing this shooting to a shooting we had earlier this summer. Actually killed two people in a park. We're reporting live here in East Tulsa. Covering news that matters. Sarah Whaley, Fox 23 News.